One Piece Nation here today to bring you a video talking about references in One Piece to other medium. Now, I want to start off with the one that's going to be the most difficult for me, but I know it's a topic right now. One Piece and Harry Potter. My God. Before I begin, I am still reading the books. I have only read some of the first book and seen three of the movies. So, like, about half of what I'm about to say, I learned watching Joy Boy's video on Joy Boy's theory that he made regarding Big Mom's powers, which I'll be linking in the description. Go check out Joy Boy's theory channel. Whatever it is. But the first reference I want to talk about is how in One Piece chapter 861, you can see that Harry Potter and the Printer of Akaban is one of the books on the bookshelf. There. Got that out of the way. I would like to thank Arthur of Orojackson.com for providing us with this scan. It was very hard to find a close-up where you could make out the text. But if you decipher it correctly, I'll leave Arthur the decryption of it on screen right here, right here, right here, right here, so you guys can check it out. But uh, that was that pretty much it. Aside for that, I have heard that they, the way Big Mom divides her stole and put them in the homies and in the Neptune hat and in the Death Zoo or Zeus and all that is very similar to the way. Dumble, what? See, this is how little I know what I'm talking about here. What Voldemort done quit. I'm not editing this video, by the way. I'm not editing this crap out, but I think it's funny. You got, you got to just talk about how stupid I am in the comments. Like, I'll openly admit, these books have been out for decades and have, are incredibly popular. I should know these things. I don't. I'm sorry. I never thought it, I, I had to talk about Harry Potter in a One Piece video. But... In a way of Voldemort dig of a Horcrux in the of it. Horcrux? 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 I don't know. I, I, I've never seen the movie. But, um, that's what I've heard. So that could, that could be an Easter egg or a reference or an inspiration. But that was the time that we referenced that. Uh, I'd, like to talk about Nar I'd like to talk about, uh, let me look up, let me check its name quickly if you don't mind. Cut the comment. Yeah, so One Piece has referenced the anime Kochi Kame before. Kochi Kame is an anime that ran, is a manga that ran for damn near 40 years, longer than One Piece, longer than Dragon Ball, longer than all of it. Now, Kochi Kame is never read it, don't know anything information on it, but when it ended, Oda did a cover page, and in this cover page, he saw uh, the straw hat drawing a three. On the bounty poster of the guy, and it was like, oh, like a really high bounty, like bigger than Jack. It was ridiculous. But, um, that's about all I have to say there. That's the reference. Now, let's talk about the big gun Naruto. Now, before we even go into this, I need to discuss the fact that Chichimoto and Oda are friends, so he is likely to do more references in the future. This these are just one or two of them. The first one I'd like to talk about is probably the most obvious one he's ever done. Well, one of them is a scene when they are heading to any lobby. When they're heading to any lobby, and the only one that's actually in theory that is like a major scene. Like the Harry Potter one with a background thing, but thing with Big Mom powers and more of an inspiration. But, um,. Or maybe it isn't an inspiration. I mean, like, there's like seven, there's over seven billion people on this damn planet. Maybe two people just had the same kind of idea. That's very possible. But, um, the, the point is that this is the only thing to have, like, a full blown scene. But when Nami reveals her perfect climb attack, by the way, video on the climb attack, right here. Go watch that video when you're done. It explains what the, the difference between the perfect climb attack. And the sorcery climb attack. And the fourth climb attack did. It explained all that. So go watch it. No, but the perfect climb attack. She, when she's showing it off, she's showing it to Luffy. Uh, she mentioned it's the last thing Usopp ever did at the mention of his name. Her and Luffy get incredibly depressed. 
and had this really cartoonish animation behind them when they're hanging their heads like this. There'll be a picture somewhere on screen. Probably there'll be a clip playing somewhere on screen. But um, the, what happens is is that this is actually the exact same thing that happens in Naruto. This is actually the exact same thing that happens in Naruto chapter 246 titled The Pair's Growth. In this chapter, Naruto and Sakura were tasked with fighting Kakashi and taking the bell from him. Kakashi offhandedly mentioned that it's just Naruto and Sakura, Sake is not there this time, and the two of them become incredibly depressed and there's a very similar style of animation and art, and it's practically the exact same thing. Just swap Nami with Sakura, Luffy with Naruto, and replace Sake, and replace Sake's name with Usopp, and there you have them, and put them on a train, and it's the same thing. So, that's another reference. There's also the reference on the cover page. I don't know what chapter, I'm not gonna look it up, I've already had to make enough jump cuts for this video. But, um, in One Piece, there's a cover page that came out the week Naruto ended. And it was Nami wearing a dress. Mind you, this, this is the only time I've actually ever analyzed Nami's dress before. But I, I had to for the sake of the video. But the, the, the dress is covered in the Konoha symbol. The whole thing is it just it's a very simple design. It's a black dress with the Konoha symbol. Well, I would assume it's black. I don't know. I'm assuming it's black with like the red Konoha symbol. That's the way a lot of the fan art makes it look. But then you have a Nart Luffy eating ramen. And there's somebody sitting behind Nami. We don't see their face. Because, you know, there's a line with this stuff. And you can't actually put Naruto in it. But they're, they're not, behind Nami, there's somebody standing there, sitting there, and that is Naruto eating ramen with Luffy. This is actually the ultimate reference. Now, I'm sure, I know there are plenty of other references in this thing. I just want to talk about some of the big ones. There's a Harry Potter reference, a Kochikame reference, a Naruto, a couple Naruto references. There are probably more if you look for them. And you can just, you can find references to other series all over the place. You can find them. There's also, uh, Luffy in the tournament. Now, this is a very speculated type of reference, or Easter egg or whatever. But in the Grand Magic games, Luffy refers to himself as Lucy. This is, see what I did there? Grand Magic games, Lucy. Yeah, in the dress growth tournament, which is a tournament to, that Luffy needs to win. A, a fighting, very similar, but the concepts of those arcs are quite similar. But, so, when Luffy entered the dress growth tournament to win the Flare Flare Fruit, and then practically like entered the Grand Magic Games, and of course the whole joke is that Luffy named himself Lucy. Like Lucy Harfilia. That is probably a, a shot at fairy tale. I would assume, I mean, it's a little coincidental. Luffy asked, start calling himself Lucy in an arc where there's a tournament. My new dress rogue just started right when the, around when the Grand Magic Gang was going to shit and were becoming one of the worst arcs in fictional history. So it could very well have been a shot at fairy tale. That's probably that's all I can think of at the moment. Hope you guys enjoyed this little extra video. I'm probably gonna have more videos out this the week. I'm gonna start trying to do more face cam videos. You know, honestly, I'm back in school. I've been really tired, and I can't do a whole lot of highly edited videos. So this is what it's gonna be like. I'll talk about quickly right now. I'm going to do highly edited videos once a week. And then I'll do the kind of video. Well, along with my reviews. I mean, my reviews, I think I'm going back to normal reviews. Just, they're just too much work. But yeah, there's going to be an update video coming in a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like the video if you did. 
subscribe for more One Piece videos. And above all else, guys, have a great day. And definitely subscribe if you like the dub. Because I have a whole, I, have a, I plan on making a One Piece video on the Funimation dub. The Funimation 4 kid dub. And the history behind the company. And One Piece is released in the U.S. Gonna be long and complicated. But it'll be fun to do. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment your thoughts below. What other references in One Piece that you spotted. Tell me down below. And all that crap. Uh, share the video. Twitter. Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, MySpace, whatever, whatever social media shit you're on, share the video. Have a great day, guys.